Hello and good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to another video from Nutty New. Today's video is a long time video that should have been should have been brought up earlier this year, earlier this summer, but I've been super busy. But don't worry, I will show you what ammo we have. So ammo shortage update. The last time I did an ammo shortage video was early this summer. I want to say maybe three, four months ago. And during this whole summer, I haven't been to the range, haven't done much shooting at all. And I haven't done any ammo purchase. I've been at, I, I've came to Bass Pro uh, a couple of times, just brought my son here um, so he can see the aquarium. And I have checked the ammo selection, but I never took videos or photos of it. But um, I haven't made a video for a long time. So ammo shortage 2022, it's August 24th of 2022. We're gonna basically call it the fall season of August or a fall season of 2022. How is ammo shortage? As far as what I've heard and what I've been seeing, well, we still have a shortage, guys. We still have a shortage. Uh, people are still looking for reload for all the reload girls and guys and girls. Uh, powder, primer are still very hard to get. And then as far as ammunition, your popular handguns, your popular rifles, or a 223, 556, you know, along that line, a lot of those have been staying on the shelves according to what I've been seeing, what I've been hearing, because the price has been so jacked up. So we've been seeing a lot of popular calibers on the shelf, but price is still way up there, you know, like three, like three, four dollars more than what their average box are before C19. And then um, a lot of popular hunting caliber, high power rifle caliber, has been very hard to find still. So the last time I actually went to Bass Pro was, I want to say, at least a month ago. The last time I did a video was about maybe three, four months ago. You know, you guys can look back at my video history. So today, we're going to take you guys to Bass Pro here in Anchorage, Alaska. And we're going to check out their ammo inventory. We're going to see what kind of calibers do they have on the shelf, how many boxes they have. If they have a lot of boxes, so that means that they're not either selling it. And then the second thing is we're going to check the prices. Has the price gone up? Has it stayed down? Has it stayed level? Let's go find out. During this time here in Alaska right now, August, September, this is the prime time for hunting season. So if you're watching this video and you're trying to look for ammo, you're probably too late because most folks that are looking for ammo to go hunt and stuff, they probably got all their ammunition about one or two months already, or they're just people that have a good stockpile of caliber. So I'm excited to go see what kind of hunting rifle calibers they have, you know, 30-06, 308, 300, um, all those popular stuff, 7 mil, 6.5 cream more. Those are very, very popular here in Anchorage, Alaska, or Alaska in general because of moose season, caribou, and uh, just big game. The moment of truth. I'm so excited for this. Look at this aisle. Only one person. Oh, this is like Candyland. Welcome to Candyland. Oh my goodness. Look at all this ammunition. We got the small caliber on this end. $22, um, $44. You guys feel free to go ahead and pause the video and screenshot it if you guys want to look at the price. I'm not going to name all the prices. <clears throat> Nine mil, twenty-one dollar. This stuff here needs to be ten bucks a box. Blazer, cheapest ammo on there, eighteen bucks. <clears throat> wow, these are some herders. Price have definitely gone up, guys. <clears throat> Thirty bucks for nine mil, hundred fifteen grain. You guys know the drill, man. Let me know what you have in your city, what your prices are, because this is insane. There's a reason why this whole shelf is still full. You guys remember last summer when everybody was lined up at the doors before it was even open? <coughs> and all this stuff would be gone in like 45 minutes. <coughs> 18 bucks. <coughs> Twenty-one 
Some 20 bucks for defense round. These are punch metal jacket, hollow jacket. Barnes, $25. That's like a dollar per ammo right there. 40 Smith and Wesson, 30 bucks. <coughs> a brick of 22, 100 round, $10. So what? what is that? That comes up to what, 10 cents a round? Jeez. That's crazy, man. It's not crazy, but it's just wild. 100 round, Sierra. 115 grain, $20. <coughs> this is crazy, Smith and Wesson. So we're getting to the bigger calibers now. So there's a lot of, <coughs> there's tons of regular box, you know, your 50, pound, 50 round box. And then there's your bolt pack, the 100 rounds. Here's the brick of herders, 100 round, $35. I remember those things used to be like 25 or something on that price. I will have to go back and watch my other videos. <coughs> but this stuff here has definitely gone up. There's a reason why people aren't buying it. The price. There's 300 blackout. This stuff was hard to find, guys. <coughs> Early this year and last winter, 300 blackout. I hear everybody talk about You guys, you seen any 300, 300 blackout? And here it is, six dog, 300 blackout, 125 grain, FMJ, $22. And here's the 125 grain, Marksman, OTM, $35. And then here's the pack, <coughs> 20, 25 bucks, uh, 300 blackout, 200 grain, 20 rounds. So plenty of that stuff, it's 380. 380 autos, hard to find. Excuse me. 6.5 Creamore. <coughs> Everybody was looking for 6.5 Creamore. And especially the Precision brand too. 48 bucks. And look at that. 6.5 Creamore on the shelf. Nobody's getting it. 6 mil. 50 BMG for all those guys. 30 aux 6. <coughs> 30 aux 6 was um, 30 aux 6 was really hard to find too because you guys you guys all know that's a really good round. Super popular round. And now it's just sitting on the shelf. 40 bucks a, a box. Um, 380 auto right here. 450 Bush Mash there. $43. 350 Legend. 14 bucks. <coughs> five, five, six. There's some people looking at the ammo, so I'm gonna let them look at it over there. And we'll go back over there in a bit. Yeah, look at that. Nobody, they all came and looked, and nobody, nobody bought. Okay, everybody's looking, but nobody's buying. <coughs> 38 special. 300 win mag, 70 bucks. Yeah, 300 win mag. People were all looking about that, so look. There's tons of popular hunting caliber 308 right here too. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish the ammo here um, in a bit. There's a lot of people at the hunting rifles calibers. So let me show you guys some of the gun selection. Plenty of guns on the shelves. Long rifle, handguns. Let's go look for some reload stuff for all my reload folks. I got a bad feeling that there ain't nothing for you guys. <coughs> yep, <coughs> this is the reload stuff. And all they have is just containers and other things but there is no reload guys so primer and powder say goodbye to that you gotta spit out the money and pay for it now yep no reloads 
nothing out here, guys. Smith and Wesson. Some uh, pretty good prices. Hasn't been jacked up yet. Some optics are here. <coughs> okay, we're gonna do a quick run through for the uh, shotgun stuff. Bug shots, everything's still up there. A lot of 12 gauge. <coughs> These are all like uh, four shots and stuff like that. Defense round. See right here, this is all the shotgun stuff. <coughs> they don't have any 410 or any like uh, 16 gauge, which I know those are pretty popular as well. So most of all these right here are 12 gauge. <laughs> There's some 12 gauge, yep, some 20 gauge over here. <coughs> 28 gauge, but no 16 or no 410, stuff like that. Okay, so here's the rest of the ammo selection here. Uh, we're gonna wrap, do it quick for people come and check it out. So 30 30. Let's go ahead and pause the video so you guys need to look at the price. <coughs> this whole row right here is 308, which is really nice. So good selection of 308. A variety of grains and selection. 270. 243. Yeah, 223556 down here. Here's 45 for all you guys. $43, $35, 50 round, 50 bucks for blazer. This is insane. Seven in, so a bunch of seven, 300. There you have it guys, ammo update fall of 2022. I was shocked at what they had and uh, on inventory, what I was most impressed and shocked was um, their hunting calibers 308, 300, 7M, 6.5, 3030. I wasn't expecting to see a whole bunch of that stuff, but there was a whole shelf load of all those um, selection to choose from. And there was tons, tons of handguns 9mm, 45, 380, 38 special tons of 22 long rifles and guess what there was nobody buying it everybody that came down that aisle they all looked and like they all went so they either and there's a good selection so either they did have their selection those people were looking for but they're like uh, that's a bit too expensive honestly i don't need any ammo right now that's why i'm not buying it i don't have the mentality of hoarding right now maybe if uh, Mr. Biden made an announcement that will scare all the gun folks. Maybe everybody will rush here and buy it. Uh, but that's how they do it, man. That's how politics is. Uh, sometimes they scare you to make you go buy stuff. And maybe it's just another sales tactic. So, yes. So, ammo update recap. There's tons of ammo here in Alaska. Tons, tons of ammo. I would assume that Cabela's and Anchorage have a good selection as well. Because, you know, they're brothers and sister company. So tons of ammo, a great selection of variety, plenty of boxes. I don't, um, I didn't see a limit sign, so I don't think they're doing the whole three, five box limit anymore. And then the price is not right. The price is just way too expensive. It's almost like double than what it was um, fall of 2020 when it all started. So now we all know ammo started around March april of 2020 and that's when boom the c19 really hit so from that time frame till right now um we've been tracking it i've been making this video i've been keeping a track of you know supply and chain supply and stuff like that and right now we have a good inventory but the price is it's everything's all red spiked up spiked up lots of ammo um but the price is up so the best thing we can do right now if you don't need to buy ammo don't go out and buy let these 
um, let these shelves get stockpiles and hopefully um, these man these corporate company they'll lower the prices or hopefully these manufacturer they'll drop the prices um, because we all know supply and demand right now there's not a high demand for it because it's just too expensive nobody is demanding it and hopefully they bring back more ammunition and uh, hopefully the prices gets better once the price gets better I'm definitely gonna stock up because we all know it always does this there's always an ammo shortage and all of a sudden it comes down and then every four year five year there's always an ammo shortage it goes back and forth back and forth uh, history repeats itself when obama was being elected first uh, black american president we all know there was an ammo shortage because you know he's the he's the lefty so it's gonna repeat itself right now uh you know it's biden so right now there's an ammo shortage and hopefully when he's out of office um, the ammo shortage will be gone. So, I don't know. We'll see how it is. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think uh, is going to happen. Let me know what your prediction is for the ammo shortage coming winter uh, winter season. And also, let me know what you have in your stores, whether it's a big box store, a small uh, local gun store you have in your city. Uh, let me know what kind of ammo you have, what the prices are, and what city you're from. So, we all call. So, everybody in the comment section, we can all get a feeling of how it is in the USA. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. I don't plan to make another ammo video yet with the shells being so stuck right now. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like this for a while. So maybe we'll come back here in two months and check it out. So catch you guys next time. Much love, bye-bye.